here, Sir Joseph Broadfront. I give you one last chance to rescind your insult of calling me a common dandy. Never? Wow, and people think, oh, you can't shoot him. He's so he's so fast, he can dodge a bullet like Sanic. Yeah, you can't shoot him. You can't shoot him. Well, apparently he can shoot him, you know. Especially when he's like like that. You better apologize, man. Chances are you're gonna die. That's video game logic right there. If this happened, in real life, someone would have died in a car accident. No, it won't work out. Okay, number nine. Uh, with the creatures of the surface driven to extinction by rising sea levels, the ancestors of the Inklings were free to haul their uh, I.O. leg. That, ugh, that clearly says ten-legged, not I.O. legged. Whatever, moving on. Bodies up onto the abandoned land. This is how Mollusk era began. Yeah, boy, there were still some surviving humans, though. Then it would be a different story. There would also be little or no land for the creatures to move their ten-legged limbs onto the Earth's surface. Alright, seriously? One, if you're at that speed, your hell come off. And two, if you crash like that... You're gonna die. To let the young viewers at home know, this would not happen in real life. Ever. My main thought on cartoon and video game logic is... It depends. If it's like Tom and Jerry, it won't happen in real life. It's just like Mario Kart. Getting hit by a shell won't happen in real life. Neither would slip on a banana peel. You'll just drive right over the banana peel and not go crazy. Really. Those were my thoughts on cartoon and video game logic. Hope you enjoyed the video. Meh, you probably didn't.